The President, please be seated. The trial chamber uh, is now back in sessions uh, to hear uh, the, the facts uh, and the security officer, please uh, bring the accused to the dock. Uh, before giving the floor to the civil party lawyers uh, group two, the trial chamber, I would like to ask to the uh, lawyer of uh, civil party group one, uh, based on your uh, uh, time estimations, uh, how long uh, would you like to use uh, to put the question to uh, the accused for uh, the facts that we are hearing. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, councillors. Um, we would have hoped, quite frankly, um, and that was the, the sort of understanding among the civil parties, to be able to use the time which was, um, which was left by the other groups. And if we can have our 45 minutes and on top of that use half of the time left, which means 20 minutes, we can assure you that we would uh, definitely uh, finish by that time, which is about an hour. And in, if that is possible, then we would, um, my uh, colleague, Ms. Sudinsky, could, could use the other 20 minutes left. And what I would request as well is if uh, we could uh, be allowed to share within my group uh, between um, Ms. Kishrina and myself, and not like what uh, my colleague said yesterday, just one person talking on behalf of my group, but we would be grateful if we could be allowed to share within, within my group. Thank you. Uh, the next, um, the floor is open for uh, the civil party lawyers uh, group two uh, to uh, put uh, questions uh, to the accused uh, in related to the facts uh, for uh, our hearings. Yes, please. Good morning, and um, thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour, le Président. Good morning to everybody. Bonjour, um, Madame, Monsieur. I assume that um, the Chamber agrees upon what my Je colleague has said, that we share and uh, can take um, 20 minutes from the time that was left que nous pouvons utiliser from the other groups. And I would like to start this morning and continue um, where I stopped yesterday concerning the female interrogators. Um, you explained us yesterday that the female interrogators received a training um, and they attended um, interrogations of senior interrogators. My question now is how long did these female interrogators attended such training sessions or such uh, 
ont duré ces sessions de formation ou cette participation à d'autres interrogatoires avant qu'elles ne commencent leur propre travail en tant qu'interrogatrice. The accused, uh, Ms. Uh, lawyer, uh, firstly, uh, the uh, female interrogator, uh, they did not get any training from me. Uh, secondly, uh, they went to observe the interrogations by other interrogator, and they, then they started the interrogation. Uh, and later I uh, took them for uh, education based on the policy of Et interrogations. So I uh, used the documents uh, as I used for other interrogators. Uh, Mr. Lawyer, I will question. Precise my question. Before they started to interrogate, how many sessions did they attend to learn how to do it? Pour apprendre comment interroger. The accused. I would like to uh, reiterate uh, that. As I told you that uh, those uh, female interrogators uh, did not receive any direct technique of interrogation from me. That was not my question. question. Uh, that was not my. No, that was not what I said. You told us that they attended. Elles ont participé, elles ont assisté senior interrogators à des interrogatoires menés par d'autres interrogateurs plus expérimentés and I pour to know apprendre comment faire. The time that Et was needed savoir quel a été le temps nécessaire before they could start their own interrogations. Que I did not say that you des, des trained them Mais je ne dis pas pour autant que c'est vous qui les avez formés. The accused. Thank you. Uh, this is because of uh, our misunderstanding uh, due to uh, translation. So I, I uh, do not know for sure how many times that they observed the interrogation by the senior interrogator. Ces femmes ont assisté à d'autres interrogatoires menés par des collègues plus expérimentés. Can you make a rough? Estimate very roughly. Was it once or ten or fifty, hundred times? The accused, uh, Miss Lawyer, it's about five times the most. Thank you very much. Have you been informed about any Question. emotions or reluctance or hesitancy that appeared among these female interrogators who were called to interrogate now? Have you heard any emotions like this from senior interrogators or que cela vous aura été did they par tell you something like this? Plus anciens? Est-ce qu'ils vous, est qu vous ont dit quelque chose In the accused, uh, uh, Miss Lawyer, I have no uh, connection or relationship with those uh, female interrogators, those who were in charge uh, to introduce them to the training. It was Comrade Ho, and uh, Comrade Mott was the one who uh, supervised their emotions. So uh, at that time, I just managed to have those female interrogator to put into their work. That's all I need at that time. Les personnes qui devaient faire, qui devaient faire partie du groupe, c'est tout.
I move to another issue. Do you uh, recall an interrogator with the name? Point. Excuse me, I hope I pronounce it well. Uh, with the name Touch, T O U C H. Do you know this interrogator? D'un interrogateur qui s'appelait Touch. Excusez-moi si j'estropie son nom. T O U C H. The accused. Uh, so uh, could you please uh, tell me whether Touch is a female or a male interrogator? I do not remember. Uh, was a male interrogator and he was later imprisoned in S21. C'était un homme interrogateur. Il a été par la suite incarcéré à S21. The accused, I uh, do not know him. Non, je ne me souviens pas de lui. Do you know about witnesses who are talking that uh, this Question. interrogator Touch was charged with a sexual offense and that he was therefore arrested and tried as well to suicide himself? Arrêté et finalement amené à se suicider. Est-ce que vous avez connaissance de ces faits? The accused, uh, uh, Miss uh, Lawyer, I uh, do not know Touch, and, uh, and the incident in which uh, the, the male interrogator uh, uh, commit uh, physical abuse and the suicide, I uh, do not know about that. Qui aurait violenté une détenue qui s'est ensuite suicidée, ce n'est pas quelque chose dont j'ai connaissance. My next question um, concerns your core work, that means annotating and reading confessions. Qui était de lire et les aveux. I would like to know if you have read as well confessions of the interrogators who were si detained in S21. Arrêté et emprisonné à S21. Uh, the accused, uh, Miss Lawyer, yes, I did read, but I oui, completely forget uh, the contents Mais now. Complètement oublié leur contenu. Then I would like to confront you with the contents of some of these vous confronter avec confessions and there Le contenu de certains are confessions de of New Kanta, Il s'agit des aveux de New Kanta, Chiakak, Chiakak Buteng, Buteng, and Chiamai. Et Do Chia you know Mai. one or all of these que interrogators? Vous I hope I pronounced it well. J'espère avoir prononcé leur nom à peu près correctement. The accused, I uh, do not know. No, je ne me souviens pas. <coughs> Their confessions were analyzed uh, by David Chandler, and uh, he reported that they Chandler confessed having committed sexual offenses. My question is, have you ever read in confessions of S21 interrogators, si vous avez lu um, dans les aveux the admission having committed S21, sexual offenses. Have you ever read about this in confessions? Des éléments concernant des délits d'ordre sexuel. The accused, uh, I would like to tell you that uh, uh, the confessions uh, on which I annotated, uh, it's clear that I read that 
If there was no annotations by me, uh, it might be that I never read that confession because I uh, did not pay much attention. So please, uh, Miss Lawyer, look at that confession where, to see whether or not uh, there is a, uh, there's my annotation on that. The president, um, the civil party lawyers group two, uh, you are reminded that the uh, the confessions obtained from the uh, torture cannot be used in uh, this uh, uh, questioning, uh, except it is uh, so. Uh, you uh, should not base on. Uh, the confession as a result of the uh, torture. So uh, you should be cautious on this matter. Thank you, Mr. President. But uh, only to explain uh, briefly, uh, it was not to use, my aim was not to use them, but I wanted to uh, know if he read such uh, statements and if he believed that these statements were true or not true, and if he had undertaken anything in this regard to investigate, for example, uh, these offenses, uh, or if he believed, for example, that these admissions were not true, as it was the case with CIA and uh, KGB confessions, and therefore the accused already um, responded to uh, such questions if and uh, to which extent he believed that confessions and the con their content was true. That was uh, the idea that I had. Um, but we heard that the accused did not read all confessions, and um, to be sure, only those confessions with annotations uh, were read and read by him. Am I right? The accused. Yes, that is correct. Is it exact? I would like to move to um, Question. my next point, and uh, I start with a general question to come point, then to um, the point that I want to know concerning the functioning of S21, and um, the general question is, um, is it correct? to say that any immoral offense was punished according to the party line? immoral était puni conformément à la ligne du parti. The accused, it is correct. Réponse. Oui, exact. Thank you. Do you also agree that Question. rape or sexual abuse viol was a serious moral offense and harshly punished immoral, during the DK period in general? Et châtié pendant la durée du Kampuche démocratique en général. The accused, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Would you also agree that Question. it was the party line pour dire que policy that inserting a stick into the vagina was such a so-called immoral, serious immoral offense, immoral et une infraction and that grave. the perpetrator et que would have been punished severely. I'm talking about general policy. Sévèrement. Je parle ici en termes de politique générale. The accused. Réponse. I would like to reserve my right to remain silent on this matter. Je exercer mon droit à garder silence. The president, the président. question is repetitive. Cette question est répétitive. Please move on. Veuillez euh, passer à un autre point. It was only to specify if 
inserting the stick into the wagoner is also part of such offense. Si But I move on and um, I would like to recall that you told us that you did not um, did not know that Inserting a stick into the vagina was a crime at that time during the decay period. You told us yesterday and last week the same. We were not informed, not fully informed about the law and did not know that this was a crime. My question is the reason why you did not know that this was a crime, although the policy was very strict. My question is, was the reason for this that against enemies, against prisoners who were considered as enemies, that this was not considered as a crime? Is this the reason? Est -ce là la raison? The accused. Réponse. I did not study any penal code of Cambodia. Je n'ai pas étudié le code pénal cambodien. Therefore, I did not know about this matter. Et donc je ne connais I pas cette question. through the chamber Mais already that uh, probably even my superior did not know it. And this is my response. Regarding the party line, it did not stipulate any issue on this matter. Did you know that this was a wrongdoing in general or not? que c'était là de façon générale quelque chose de mal ou pas? The accused. I reserve my right to remain silent. Je souhaite garder le silence sur ce point. I have no further questions so far on this issue, and would transfer to my colleagues. Thank you very much. Et je laisse la place à mon collègue. Thank you very much. 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 Thank The president, president, the floor now is open for the lawyer for civil party group one. Avocat du groupe un, je vous en prie. This Rina, Maître thank you, Mr. Rina. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Jonas, and all the participants président. in the proceedings. Bonjour à tous les participants. I have uh, some questions to be posed to the accused. Accusé. My first question is related to the smashing La première question porte sur the large-scale smashing towards the end of the regime. Commise en masse à la fin du régime. Did the smashing of the prisoners at S21, the, the large scale smashing, how many times did it occur? Y a-t-il eu d'exécutions de masse commises à S21? Réponse. The en mass smashing at the final stage was amounted to about 300 or so prisoners fin, from my recollection. Si question, thank you. Question, merci. And my second question, question is related also to the final phase Elle porte aussi sur that is towards the early finale, January 1979. At that stage, can you recall The four 
the remaining prisoners who had to be smashed finally, how many of them at the final stage? Combien y en avait-il à cette phase finale? The accused. I did not think of the numbers. What I did was just to au nombre de prisonniers. Make sure the orders from the upper echelon had to be fully implemented by my subordinates. It means all the remaining prisoners had to be smashed except the four people from the Joe 8 unit, which I request them to be remained alive. These four people from the Yo 8 were the group that sought the foreigners who came with the Richard Ledman, Elizabeth Becker and uh, Cowell and they were arrested and I wanted to interrogate these four people. That is my recollection. This is Rina. Question. In such situation, could you manage the S-21 regarding the prisoners who were killed in the cells? How many of them were killed in bed in each cell or room in S-21? The accused, thank you for raising this matter up. Only the Yo-8 the four of them réponse, uniquement les quatre soldats membres de l'unité were killed or smashed ont été by the interrogators with the bayonet. So the four of them were killed. Ces quatre là ont été tués. Thank you, says the lawyer. Question. My next question. Merci. Voici ma question suivante. Also, toward the final stage of the democratic campuchie, can you recall did you know in advance regarding the situation at the time? Avez-vous été informé par avance de la situation? The accused. When I fled, Réponse. I only had a short, a short sleeve shirt and a pair of thongs. I did not know anything regarding the situation at the time. Donc, non, I was not told that we had to flee. Que nous nous the lawyer. But did you know in advance regarding the situation through media or through radio broadcasting that uh, the, situa the, situa the situation uh, might be realized soon? The accused, thank you for raising the matter up. The radio was broadcast on the by, and Pol Pot's speech was broadcast on the radio that the Yuan good go dipped into the Cambodian territory and there was an appeal for the people to resist the Yuan's invasion. However, at that time, I did not understand it. I did not believe that Pol Pot would flee. That's what I heard. However, on the 6th of January, at around 9 a.m., I was matin, called for work assignment on appelé pour une at the Buddhist Institute, Institute Saramaret. When I went there, I did not see Nunchi, but I instead met Brother Haim, that is Kirsten Porn. And Brother Haim did not even speak to me, even if I sat opposite him. Alors que assis en face de lui. At that time, he said, the Jund came deep uh, inside the territory, but do not worry, because Comrade Jund and Comrade Sa's teams would resist and compel them back. However, after it happened, then I was shocked of the situation. The lawyer, thank Question. you. And my next question. It's related also to the final stage of the Democratic Cambodia. As you have just stated, you knew and heard the radio broadcast regarding the Vietnamese troops entering Cambodia to overthrow the Democratic Cambodia regime. So, during that time, did you ever think 
that you wanted to release the remaining prisoners from S21? Did you have a such intention? Because the situation at the time was chaotic from the point of view that you just expressed. So again, did you have intention to release the remaining prisoners from S21? Because as you have just stated, that all the orders from the superior to kill or smash the prisoners at S21, you did not satisfy with the orders and the work that you carried out at S21 was done because you were in a situation that you could not avoid it because if you did not do it, then your wife, your child, even your relatives or siblings, your parents would be killed. So at the final stage, did you ever think that now the Democratic Amateur would fall and that you would want to spare the remaining prisoners by releasing them? Et les libérer. Je me pas ça. The accused. Réponse. I would like to reiterate that. J'aimerais réitérer. After I heard the appeal by Pol Pot, après avoir entendu, I was numb. Le discours de Pol Pot. I could not believe that the Democratic Cambodia would be defeated. Étonné, je because I had strong belief that. Um, Pol Pot would be able to defend the country. So with such explanation at 9 a.m. on the 6th of January by Brother Head, I still had strong belief. So that was number one. And the second point, for the remaining prisoners that I was ordered to smash, the order came on the second on the and that I had to smash on the 2nd or the 3rd of January, the latest, and only four prisoners remained for the interrogation. And I think about 14 or 15 prisoners were also spared for providing the service to S21. So there were only about three of the staff who fled with me when I fled. So that was the situation at the time. I did not think that the DK would be defeated and that the remaining prisoners had to be released in order to satisfy my feeling or emotion. This is my response. Thank you, says the lawyer. Réponse, je vous remercie. My next question is related to a point that you raised si, that you became Ma aware. Suivante. Ma question suivante. Lorsque vous avez réalisé that after one Wade's arrest et and Vett, brought to S21, you realized that S21, the close associates of the Democratic Cambodia were all arrested. Did you have any feeling to prepare yourself in order to assist the prisoners, or did you have such a feeling? Because that would be the only opportunity to assist the prisoners at S21 regarding your idealism that you never satisfied with the killings, but you were forced to carry out your duties. Ou content de mettre en œuvre les exécutions, mais vous étiez forcé d'entreprendre ces exécutions. Réponse. Frère Vaughan a été arrêté le 2 novembre 1978. Therefore, after his arrest, I could not do anything much. Après son arrestation, je ne pouvais pas faire grand-chose. Je n'arrivais pas à dormir ni le jour ni la nuit. And on the second or the third of Et January, I was ordered to 
took out all the remaining prisoners because there was a rumor that Pol Pot fled from Phnom Penh and I could not understand the situation. I was not allowed to know and I did not even understand the message broadcast on the radio so I had no other measures besides the hopelessness that I had. Le fait d'être désespéré, the lawyer, je regarding your hopelessness that you had at the final stage, émotion. that you only slept day and night, my question is, why did de you try to implement the orders from your superior? Le jour et la nuit. Uh, the accused? Donc mis en œuvre, uh, uh, I was hopeless. However, it happened at a certain stage. First, I felt a little bit hopeless, and toward the end, I felt completely hopeless. At the first, in January 77, when the cadres from the North Zone were arrested, as I reported to the chamber already, I became hopeless. That was the first time. And the second time that I felt hopeless, Et la deuxième fois, when Brother Ned Yu was arrested and sent to Asie Ned Yu and his home was a Chinese ethnic who supported the Democratic Cambodia Cambodia and the CPK from the beginning. Dès le départ. And he was arrested and his name appeared in the list. So I became even more hopeless at that stage. Et le I stopped doing my work and I went just to aussi, sit at the sculpture's place. Me and another time, it was on the 2nd of November 78, when Brother Vaughan was arrested. I felt even more, more desperate at the time. And the final stage that I felt so hopeless, it was the 2nd or the 3rd of January 79, when I was ordered to take out all the prisoners. When you first felt hopeless, you would think that when it's going to be your turn. So you try just to stay alive and to follow the order strictly. So that was the only uh, measure and the process of purification in order to survive. Le processus de this is my de manière à pouvoir arriver à survivre. Thank you, says the lawyer. I have no further questions, Question. Mr. President, Je vous and I would like now to give Monsieur the President, floor to my colleague in my group. Thank you. Some Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. À mon confrère. Um, the president, please, Le président, uh, Mr. Alan Gwener, Maître I, uh, the floor is yours. Je vous en prie, vous avez la parole. <coughs> Merci, <coughs> Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur. Good morning. Avant de, de démarrer mes questions, j'aimerais um, vous dire deux choses. Like La première, c'est que, au nom de mon groupe, nous reconnaissons group, le fait que like ça fait plus de quatre jours que l'on vous pose des questions. Vous avez été, uh, days, en quelque sorte, bombardé de questions et you have, uh, vous n'avez esquivé aucune question. Vous avez répondu uh, de votre mieux à toutes les questions et nous, nous reconnaissons cela. Et j'aimerais vous dire une deuxième chose, c'est que nous vous saurions gré comme this. vous l'avez fait hier Secondly, et cela a été exactly noté par mon, par mon confrère. Nous vous saurions gré de continuer à, this, à répondre de façon courte aux questions, uh, si vous le pouvez. Uh, Cela nous aidera à pouvoir vous, vous poser au nom de, de nos clients toutes les questions que nous aimerions vous poser. Je vous remercie d'avance. Like le premier sujet que j'aimerais aborder avec vous est le sujet de Toy. Um, toy. Vous avez répondu aux questions du juge et vous avez expliqué que, que Toy était un interrogateur à S21 et que Toy aimait torturer. Et mardi passé, le 16 juin 2009, vous avez dit ceci. Um, pour mon confrère, page 45 des transcriptions de mardi passé, vous avez dit ceci, je vous cite, vous avez dit « Toy, par le biais de ces observations, moi j'étais 
satisfait de son travail. Il essayait d'obtenir mes faveurs en introduisant la méthode à chaud ou des tortures chaudes. Et vous avez expliqué de façon très complète ce qu'était la méthode à chaud et les tortures chaudes. Donc j'aimerais juste clarifier et savoir si, si j'ai bien compris et si ce qui a été noté au transcript est la réalité. Est-ce la réalité que Toy, celui qui aimait torturer de sa propre initiative, et pour vous plaire, vous a proposé à S21 d'introduire la méthode de torture la plus dure, la méthode chaude, et vous auriez accepté la situation. The accused, uh, Mr. Lawyer, uh, these uh, issues uh, we should not uh, blame to uh, our subordinate uh, 100%. Person. The heart uh, method of uh, torture, I have discussed with him. So the heart uh, torture. It had to be a kind of torture, uh, a continuing torture. Uh, it was my instruction, but the behavior of the interrogator at S21 uh, were not the same. Uh, Comrade Toy, who from uh, Division 703, he has the intention, uh, tendency to uh, the heart uh, torture, Pragnan from M13, M13, who also had the tendency to the heart torture, and uh, the, the, he used uh, mainly the heart um, method of torture, uh, whereas Comrade Pon, uh, the interrogator who received uh, the training from me, he rarely uh, uh, made any uh, decision beyond our uh, order. So um, another one, her brother Momnai, uh, who, uh, who was always uh, uh, followed the order and rarely uh, commit any torture in conclusion. It's, uh, it's only uh, me who can uh, allow or authorize anyone to, to torture, but the characters of the interrogator are different. Uh, Tui had a different character, um, Pon had another different, and uh, Momnai has another uh, different. That's all I can tell you. Mr. Werner. Pour en revenir à, à Toy, pourquoi avoir donné à Toy Pourquoi lui avoir donné cette importance à S21 alors que vous saviez qu'il infligerait, parce qu'il avait ce caractère sadique, il infligerait des souffrances inutiles aux détenus à S21 Pourquoi lui avoir donné cette importance Why did you give him such prominence in S21 The accused, uh, Mr. Lawyer, they uh, had no uh, mistake or fault uh, for uh, removal. We uh, do not uh, remove him. So four other uh, interrogators who failed to uh, succeed in interrogation, and then uh, we send the victim to Toy, but Toy can uh, do that, and Toy reported to me that uh, the, the prisoner uh, did confess. Yes, we admitted that it's a wrongdoing. Let me give an example, the confession of Sir Chai alias Tom. So after the interrogation by Toy and Chitsai uh, alias Tom, 
Uh, he confessed that he committed a rape against his daughter. It seemed to me at that time it's uh, uh, too, too extreme. So, um, and if um, the torture caused the victim to, to death, uh, it is a, a matter, it's a, a problem. But if he failed to do that, he uh, has the strong supporters. Uh, he, he was from uh, Division uh, 703. So in principle, so if uh, the torture caused the victim uh, to, to, to die, it is a, a, a serious uh, fall that we can remove him. Si il a torturé la mort de la mort prisonnier, cela est un problème grave. Mardi passé le 16 juin, et pour mon confrère, page 61-62 des transcriptions de l'audience de mardi passé, vous avez déclaré au juge que les jeunes interrogateurs pouvaient être extrêmes. Ensuite, vous avez dit que les jeunes, certains jeunes ne se maîtrisaient pas et que certains étaient cruels. Acceptez-vous, monsieur, qu'en donnant de l'importance so, un sadique comme Toy, qui, comme vous l'avez déclaré vous-même, aimait la torture, toy, who, as you have vous encouragiez les jeunes interrogateurs à S21 et limiter, à être cruel à leur tour et infliger des souffrances qui n'étaient pas utiles. The accused, uh, Mr. Lawyer, uh, you said that um, uh, I pushed them further. I never do that. But um, I continue to trust him and give instruction and advice uh, to him uh, more or less that uh, allow him uh, to feel like the way of torture and to continue continue that torture. That is true. Uh, uh, in addition to that, uh, those who had the tendency to torture, there were two. One is uh, Comrade Toy uh, from uh, Division 703, and another one was Nan. Nan from uh, M13. Nan de M13. J'aimerais passer, monsieur, si, Mr. Werner, si vous le voulez bien, là, juste like une question sur la famine. About, uh, hunger, Et starvation. vous avez été interrogé um, de façon assez longue sur cette, uh, sur cette question. Et vous avez dit um, la semaine passée, lundi, le 15, week, 15 15, page 4, 15, 98 du, du, de la transcription pour mon confrère, vous avez, vous avez dit que des gens sont morts de faim à S21 à cause du manque de nourriture. Et puis ensuite, vous avez dit And cela, toujours le 15, Page 89 de la transcription pour mon confrère. Vous avez dit ceci. De façon générale, il n'y avait pas assez à manger partout dans le pays pour la population. C'était pire encore pour les détenus. Et donc, c'était une vraie politique générale de la part du PCK. Et répondant à une question du juge qui vous posait, est-ce que vous aviez conscience de la mise en œuvre d'une telle politique Vous avez répondu ceci. Oui, je le savais. Et c'est encore un souvenir douloureux. Mais je ne pouvais pas faire autrement, c'est vrai. Monsieur, il y a dans le dossier au moins un exemple qui montre, qui démontre que vous auriez pu faire autrement. Vous avez déclaré devant le juge d'instruction le 27 mars 2008, la cote est D63 et pour mon confrère, la référence en français ERN 001-78037. La question vous étiez, vous étiez posée par le juge d'instruction. Laissez-moi vous, euh, 
vous, vous, euh, vous lire également la question pour que vous ayez du contexte. La question était celle-ci, par les, les co-juges d'instruction. Vous avez expliqué qu'en 1978, le surplus de la production de riz de presse avait été remis au comité central. Pourquoi cette décision a été-t-elle prise et comment saviez-vous qu'il y avait un surplus Plus précisément, pourquoi avez-vous décidé de remettre ce surplus au comité central plutôt que de laisser le personnel se nourrir normalement puisqu'à l'époque, les rations étaient insuffisantes. Et vous avez répondu ceci. Je ne me rappelle pas si c'était Pal ou Oi qui m'avait informé. Cette année-là, il y avait une inondation et l'on manquait de riz. J'ai dit à Nunchien que je pouvais en fournir. Il a paru surpris. Je voulais aider les autres unités. Je voulais aussi mettre en valeur la réputation de Preissa et de S21. Quant au régime de nourriture, il était fixé par les supérieurs et je ne pouvais rien modifier. Ma question est celle-ci, monsieur. Pourquoi avez-vous donné ce surplus de riz à Nunchia alors que vous saviez que les détenus à S21 littéralement mouraient de faim. Décuse, Mr. Lawyer. Réponse, maître. Uh, the story I told to the co-investigating judge Uh, uh, correct. In 1978, S21 and uh, Preissant uh, produce uh, uh, lots of rice and there's a lot of rice surplus, uh, several tons of rice in surplus. So I uh, did send her the rice to, to Anka through uh, Anka Nguyen. Uncle Noon had someone to, to take uh, those rice. However, uh, the story that I would like to tell here is that the crimes against humanity, it's uh, everyone uh, falling into that situation, including uh, myself, that I have enough rice in my hands, but I They are not uh, take those right to use for the uh, prisoners who are detained in uh, Phnom Penh. Uh, actually, it was not a prison. It was a uh, the place to store people before killing. So I uh, failed to uh, use that right to uh, support those who were at prison in the re-education camp, and I. And never there to, to change any foot pressure for uh, the prisoner. Uh, these, uh, those are the crimes that um, uh, everyone of uh, the cadre, including me, uh, to follow uh, the Uh, the policy, especially the policy regarding the uh, food ration. So, uh, this is one of the crimes that I am uh, the one who uh, responsible for that uh, in the spirit of uh, the crime of the crime against humanity. So I admit and I accept that crime. Mr. Werner, last week, Répondons au juge, vous avez expliqué de façon détaillée pourquoi, selon vous, vous ne visitiez pas la prison générale. En particulier, il y a eu de longs échanges entre le juge Lavergne et vous-même à ce sujet. Vous lui avez dit ceci. Page 91 du transcript de lundi dernier, le 15. Je n'avais pas d'autre choix que d'éviter de me retrouver en contact avec les prisonniers pour éviter de devoir employer ce genre de termes. Car quand je les voyais, quand je les rencontrais, j'étais très touché. Alors pourquoi essayer de les voir 
I was troubled. Et le même jour, juste quelques minutes plus tard, And page 95-96, vous lui avez dit ceci. J'avais peur de voir le spectacle des souffrances de ceux qui étaient placés sous mon autorité. J'aurais été choqué si j'avais été les voir. J'ai fermé les yeux, j'ai bouché les oreilles. <coughs> Je ne voulais pas voir la situation telle qu'elle était dans la réalité. Je ne m'autorisais pas à voir ou à entendre quoi que ce soit. Authorizing myself to see or hear anything. The interpreter would like Monsieur, to ask Mr. Bernard to speak a slow, more slowly. Slow the reason for which you don't enter in the prison, in the place where literally people die of hunger, of torture, of maladies, and probably of fear. The reason for which you don't enter into this prison where people were literally dying of hunger. The president interrupts. The president. Uh, please uh, speak more slowly, Mr. Lawyer, uh, to uh, for a proper record. Uh, uh, My apologies, Your Honor, says Mr. Vernier. Laissez-moi reprendre. So I shall resume. Ce que vous nous dites en résumé. C'est que la raison pour laquelle vous n'entriez pas dans la prison générale, qui était l'endroit où, comme vous l'avez vous-même expliqué, les gens crevaient de faim, de torture, de maladie et probablement de peur, la raison pour laquelle vous n'entriez pas dans cet endroit, c'est que cela vous aurait touché. Monsieur, nous pensons que la vérité est ailleurs. Et laissez-moi très brièvement vous exposer une autre hypothèse pour votre considération. Et ensuite, je me permettrai de vous poser une question. Je le fais au nom de mes partis civils, dont l'un est un survivant de S21. Ce que nous pensons, c'est que lorsque vous étiez le directeur de S21, tout ce que vous faisiez, vous le faisiez dans le but de plaire à vos supérieurs, Sun Sen Pinunchia. Vous alliez voir les ateliers des artistes car vous vouliez que le travail des sculptures avance pour plaire à Pol Pot. Vous suiviez l'interrogatoire des Vietnamiens car vous vouliez que les diffusions radiophoniques soient de bonne qualité pour plaire à vos supérieurs. Et puis vous passiez tout votre temps, y compris vos nuits, sur les confessions pour produire des listes d'ennemis et pour plaire à vos supérieurs à Nonsen et Anunchia. Et ce que nous pensons, c'est que la raison pour laquelle vous ne vous rendiez probablement pas souvent dans la prison générale, c'est parce que de vous rendre dans la prison générale ne vous aurait servi à rien, que la souffrance des détenus ne vous servait à rien, que tout ça ne vous servait pas à, trouver à votre avancement personnel et en conséquence vous étiez complètement indifférent à cette souffrance. Et nous pensons que cette souffrance ne comptait pas pour vous, qu'elle ne vous intéressait pas et qu'elle ne vous touchait pas. Est-ce qu'aujourd'hui vous acceptez cela Mr. Lawyer, Maître, your proposition, votre affirmation, about myself, about my emotion, vous m'adressez, s'agissant de mes émotions, fundamentally correct. Et fondamentalement, I in fact try to exact. satisfy my superiors. J'essayais de plaire à mes supérieurs. I push my subordinates to work better in order to satisfy my superior. I try to annotate the confession in with the intention to satisfy my superior. So everything that I did was to satisfy my superior. I attempted to work de to the best effort du mieux in order to reach the requirements of the superior. De et de so I aux de mes acknowledge what you said and the crimes that I committed de de in the name of the chairman of the S21 office. Du S21. However, however, I would like to state that. Cependant, j'aimerais dire 
I que did not go and see my friends. Je ne suis pas allé voir mes amis. I knew a lot of people who were detained at S21, but I did not go and meet them. Yes, they mistook Mr. Hoffman for the police. 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 Yes, they mistook Mr. Hoffman for the
in order to fulfill the requirements. De façon à satisfaire so I, aux myself, critères. including the interrogator cadres, et moi-même, hates to do it, ainsi que les following the spirit of fast attack, fast success. Appliquer ce principe, notamment And le indeed, principe that what I did at the time. Rapide, succès rapide, c'est ce que j'ai fait à l'époque. My ability to invent things Ma capacité d'innover in order to, however, with, it falls within the framework of the party line. Par la ligne du parti. So that was my attempt to do my work. Et voilà I apologize if travail. I could not answer Excusez-moi fully si to your question. Votre question. Monsieur, vous avez expliqué devant cette chambre à plusieurs reprises que des gens même très importants étaient arrêtés et détenus à S21 suite à leur implication dans les confessions. Maintenant, vous avez vous-même été impliqué dans au moins deux confessions et pas des moindres. Et je m'en réfère à ce que vous avez dit devant le juge d'instruction le 1er avril 2008. La cote est D67 pour mon confrère. 001776. 644 en français. Et vous avez dit ceci. À la page 4 et 5. Vous avez dit deux personnes m'ont mis en cause dans leur confession. Kei Kim Wat, et je m'excuse pour la prononciation, et Vaughn Vett. A chaque fois, j'ai préféré laisser le texte tel quel. Si j'étais intervenu, j'aurais perdu mon honneur et mon autorité sur mes subordonnés. Vous me demandez pourquoi Kim Hot a déclaré que j'étais intéressé par les idées démocratiques et libérales. Et je pense que c'est, c'est, je pense que c'est parce que j'étais son élève au cours supérieur de l'école primaire en 1956-1957. Il m'avait donné deux livres qui n'étaient pas dans la ligne du parti. Ma question, monsieur, est celle-ci. Pourquoi ne vous est-il rien arrivé, en dépit du fait que vous avez été, comme vous le reconnaissez vous-même, impliqué par deux fois dans des confessions et par des gens très importants Était-ce parce que vous étiez protégé Was it par Sun Sen et par Nguyen Chia, qui aimait votre zèle. zèle The accused, Mr. Lawyer, the confession of Brother Kim Hoot on my on me was an old activity from the 1956-57 concernant des faits qui remontaient à 56-57 the upper echelon disregarded that information a tenu pour négligeable ces informations ce qui est de Everybody knew that he used to supervise me and that I used to pay respect to him. Everybody knew that. So his confession on me, I was not sure, but what I can remember is that he wrote my name in his last page of the confession. So I, I, I did not care. I think it's up to the discretion of Uncle Noon. I did not make any changes to it because if I did, then people would notice that, oh, maybe I deleted my name because I do not want to be implicated. Because I did not make any amendments to other people, and how come I make amendments when my name was referred to? So if I were to die, yes, let it be. However, the facts that I survived because I ins- insisted that I was honest and loyal to them. J'ai, uh, toujours été et loyal. If I was asked, then Les I would explain all the historical activities. Si questions, and de if répondre, you want me to say that, I can say all those things in chronological order. Dans l'ordre chronologique. Vous avez... Mr. Werner. Vous avez répondu you à ma question, monsieur. J'ai juste encore deux I sujets et j'aimerais vous mettre like deux propositions. Je n'aurai fini. Uh, La première, the first, 
La première est par rapport à ce que vous avez déclaré la semaine passée à cette cour. Vous avez dit plusieurs fois que vous avez insisté sur le fait que vous collaboriez étroitement avec Sunsen. Lundi le 15, page 26 de la transcription française, vous avez expliqué que tout ce que vous faisiez, vous le faisiez en étroite collaboration avec Sunsen, qu'il savait délibérément tout ce que vous faisiez, qu'il voulait avoir votre opinion tout le temps, et que telle était la situation. Et puis le lendemain, le 16 mardi, vous avez expliqué, page 49 de la transcription pour mon confrère, vous avez expliqué à nouveau que Sunsen suivait étroitement votre travail et donnait des instructions. J'aimerais vous mettre pour votre commentaire, la version différente et l'interprétation différente uh, version, sur ce même sujet so de l'expert Etchison qui est venu uh, à cette barre. Et répondons à une question issue. de ma consoeur Matt Studinsky. Voilà ce que, ce que le docteur Etchison a dit. Je rappelle, et pardon, je cite à la page And 98 de la transcription du 27 mai 2009. Voilà ce que le docteur Etchison a dit. Je rappelle que Sunsen était membre du comité permanent du parti, qu'il était vice-premier ministre chargé de la défense nationale, qu'il était chef de l'état-major de l'armée révolutionnaire du Kampuchea. Donc il était investi de nombreuses responsabilités. Ce devait être un homme extrêmement occupé. Je saute quelques lignes, je reprends à la ligne 10. Toutefois, à l'examen de la liste compilée par le bureau des coprocureurs, liste des prisonniers de S21, on constate que de nombreux individus qui ont été traités par les rouages de S21 ne sauraient être considérés comme des prisonniers dit important au plan de leurs responsabilités ou de leur hiérarchie. Je saute Kathleen pour reprendre à la ligne 19. Un nombre surprenant de ces personnes ont abouti dans les chambres de torture et à l'exécution de S21 sur la foi d'accusation les taxant d'une appartenance à la CIA ou au KGB. Il me semble à moi difficile de croire qu'une personne ayant des responsabilités de plan national aussi lourdes que celles de Sunsen consacrerait du temps à l'interrogatoire ou à l'exécution de ce genre de personnel. Et ma question pour vous, monsieur, est celle-ci. N'est-ce pas le cas comme le docteur Etchison l'a affirmé, so isn't it the case, as que Dr. Sun Sen, car c'était un homme très occupé, that concernant les gens qui n'étaient pas importants à S21, n'étaient pas du tout impliqués dans les interrogatoires, n'étaient pas du tout impliqués dans les confessions, n'étaient pas du tout impliqués dans les exécutions. Et en réalité, c'est vous qui étiez celui qui prenait les décisions The person who took the quasiment sans supervision pour les interrogatoires, pour les confessions et pour les supervisions de ceux qui n'étaient pas importants à S21. Est-ce que vous acceptez cela Vous vous rappelez que vous vous rappelez de cela I do not want to make my comment on the report of Dr. Greg Atchison. However, I would like to state that to state my points of view regarding the work at S21. Le travail qui se faisait à S21. The S21 work, I did it following the order of my superior. So all the lines of implementation was instructed by my superior. It did not mean that he was so busy and I had to implement it. Of course, I acknowledge my superior had a lot of tasks because he was a member of the Central Committee. 
He was the seven member of the standing committee. And in the governmental rank, he was the third deputy prime minister. And in the military affairs, he was the chief of the general staff and also the minister of defense and security. He was in charge of national security throughout the country. I have a document to prove this point. My apology, I uh, do not want to read the document. It was the minutes of the Central Committee meeting on the 19th of October 1975. It was on page one. Sun Sen was responsible for the general staff and security. So, indeed, my superior had a lot of tasks. But who had influence on who? My superior would not allow me to act freely. He met me every day. He monitored my work on the telephone every day and gave instructions on me on every aspect. And on another matter regarding the arrest and the execution and the interrogation, it was stated in the decision of the 30th of March 1976 who had the right to decide to smash. And at, at the end, for the center army, it was the general staff who had the authority to smash. So, for the general staff, he had the authority to decide. So, these four groups were clearly assigned their responsibilities and the authorities. If they made the decision, then the respective unit had to arrest those people and send to the police office. And for the police office, upon receiving those people, they had to interrogate and torture them for confessions. So, we had to follow their work. Otherwise, we will be regarded as a traitor. So the principle was clearly stated, and he met me every day in order to monitor on the line of implementation. This doesn't mean that what I did was not known by Sonsei, although he had a lot of tasks on his hands. He was very clever, and he was five years older than me. Et il avait 12 ans de plus que moi. So this is my response to you. This doesn't mean that voilà I pas, put the blame on my superior, but this is the reality. And what was my responsibility? And the process of the order and the line from my superior to me. Je d'appliquer les ordres que je recevais du supérieur. J'ai une dernière question. Je n'aurai terminé. Uh, last question, and then uh, over um, the juge Laverne and with the There was a lot of cour, discussion with the judge Laverne and the and with the president last personnes week concerning these six lists of people, lists of people who uh, apparently were released. Et and you gave us a lot of explanations on this, so I do not need to mon. go back to Prouve this. But these lists un peu plus de 160 personnes furent libérées. Et votre position, malgré l'existence de ces listes, and, reste, et vous avez maintenu cela la semaine passée en audience, que ces listes ne reflètent pas la réalité quand, en réalité, personne n'a été libéré de, de S21. Laissez-moi à nouveau, et ce sera la dernière fois, vous exposer une hypothèse pour votre considération. Et cette fois, je le fais au nom de... Toutes euh, mes clients qui ont perdu des, des proches à S21, voici l'hypothèse. La raison pour laquelle encore aujourd'hui, et malgré la présence de ces listes, vous refusez d'admettre qu'en effet, des gens ont été libérés de S21, plus de 160. Cette raison est que... Ces listes et cette réalité démontrent qu'il n'était pas impossible de libérer quelqu'un de S21. Et cela pose une question qui est embarrassante pour vous, de savoir pourquoi vous-même, vous n'avez pas fait libérer des gens détenus à S21 qui étaient innocents de tout crime, et vous le savez. Est-ce que vous acceptez cette hypothèse, monsieur
the accused. Mr. Lawyer, I would like to clarify the six lists into two separate parts. One list. One list. One list. Parmi ces six listes. It's a list made during 1977. It was made in November. En novembre. 1977. At that time, I was already the secretary of S21, and there were 100 people whom were decided by the party that this 920 division people had to be smashed. They were combatants of division 920. When they arrived at S21 on the 21st of March 1977, and Comrade Ho, whose mind was still thinking about the release by the party as a trickery thing, so he said the release was done on the 26th of November. That's what he wrote. 26th of November 77. After I saw that, I make my annotation in red ink. So you can refer to the document or if you need, I could ask for permission from the president to show my annotation regarding that list. Toward the end of the list, Comrade Ho annotated that after he, he implemented my order from this period, he annotated that all the names were taken out and then the date. And the list is the 59 slash 4. Point 10 or something or point 8. 9 bar 4 et j'ai oublié le reste de la cote dit l'accusé the list is a D 159 4.10 document D 159 bar 4.10 Mm. Yes, it is clear uh, there was no one to list uh, under this list. It is under my direct uh, control. I, I corrected Comrade Hoare and these are uh, the names in the list on the second part. The second part of the list name uh, D. Uh, 57 uh, annex 003 document 57 annex 003 or called D 1424 there were four, uh, 49 uh, prisoners on that list uh, the list uh, entitled uh, the prisoner who were released uh, in in uh, uh, Division 703. So why this list uh, come to S21? The evidence uh, to show that it uh, the the list at S21 is TSL 4 uh, 430. Uh, to uh, prove that it, uh, the list is exists at S21 and we uh, pay more attention to this list and we come a bit further and we we'll look uh, to uh, the matter and the works that I did with my superior and there were two uh, people who uh, were implicated in the 18 and the 36 that not not uh, reported to the superior that uh, these two victims uh, planned to uh, to kill the superior, saying that um, uh, they ran away when uh, the car was driving fast and flash. So, and he said that if you arrested anyone based on your personal uh, security uh, concern, it's uh, the worst case. And 
it's a rare case that um, um, the superior blame the the chief uh, in front of the deputy chief. It's a uh, rarely happened. So uh, the one on the 18 and the uh, 36. So it is a fall in the, the trick uh, by not. Uh, it is signed on the 20th of December 1975. The 20th of December 1975, uh, the people in the country, uh, the farmers were in the groups co cooperative and uh, the unit, uh, the labor. So uh, where could we release them to? So, uh, anything should, uh, should be done through the ANCA. So that was not ANCA at that time. So no one has, uh, has the right to release anybody. So when uh, it considered as enemy never been released uh, for the, the case. So uh, when uh, not uh, kill someone and he he was fearful that he Is wanted he to uh, conceal his act. And at the least, uh, four or five of them were also the same that uh, contained uh, the name of uh, people. And at the two list, uh, contained five uh, victims each. So these uh, people on the list, uh, based on my analysis, I understand well. Uh, the term used that uh, release, I, I said, and I told you that uh, my crimes against uh, 10,000 people, I don't use these two uh, uh, fully uh, list to, uh, to hide. So you cannot hide an elephant in a room. So there's a two list. It's on it's a small, small leaf from the tree. You cannot... Uh, hide the elephant un with using this leaf. So I don't admit it, it's a, a release, so not, it was not who killed those people. Not so uh, what un. should I uh, say? So in conclusion, for uh, the six leaves, um, they yeah. were all uh, killed. So uh, the release under uh, the five leaves, it's not true. Je peux donc dire que so pour ces six listes, I, ces libérations n'ont uh, en fait pas eu lieu. I said it's a for a removal. It is a the removal, but it is a false list of prisoners. Et il s'agit de faux, en quelque sorte. Mr. Werner, je n'ai plus d'autres questions. Je vous remercie d'avoir accepté de répondre à mes questions. Thank you for accepting to answer my question. The president, uh, the trial chamber uh, declare uh, the break for uh, 20 minutes uh, until uh, 10 minutes to 11, and we'll uh, come back uh, in session. And uh, the next uh, uh, session will be uh, the floor for the defense council to ask questions uh, in relation to the facts um, for uh, the trial.